Hi everyone and welcome back and in this video we are going to talk about next GS features okay so there are many features we have already talked about in while installation and while talking about server side rendering and client side rendering now let's have a look all together so hot code reloading so what happens is you are writing next next JS applications and you are doing development right so whenever you do the changes in the code it automatically reload the browser so that is altogether happening through the webpack dev server webpack dev server is communicating with the browser and sending the hot updates which you are making in the code next thing is automatic routing right so automatic routing is a simple example is whenever you are creating any component inside your code base like here whatever the pages you are creating like contact.js post.js index.js they indirectly will become a route so if I just try to hit something like localhost 3000 then it is pointing to the home page okay here if you just talk about contacts right it will point to the context because there is a contact.js right and if you talk about posts then it will point to the posts.js which we have created so you just need to put the folder here I mean you can also create a folder like home and inside that you create index.js this will also become a route you can copy the same here in this okay now you can navigate it using home folder right hello world home page so whatever you are creating that is actually becoming a page here okay single file component means you can create a single component like home.js context.js you define all your stylings okay we are using styled jsx and writing css modules all the css you can write there and it did the single page will considered as a component right so you will be end up creating single page component server side rendering uh, you can optional you can optionally render the react component also from the server side and these all are the other features which we are getting automated code splitting prefetching ecosystem compatibility no no next yes please val with the rest of the javascript like node and react js ecosystem because we are using react js component only uh, to render some are stateless components some are uh, class based components okay prefetching we are using we are going to use a link component of uh, next yes that you can see here in this code link component we are using to link the pages so from home page if you wanted to go to contact you will click on the contact you will be navigated to the contact page similarly in the post.js here we have created a link so when you click on to these links it will take you to the posts and we are also passing some query parameter these concepts about dynamic routing and how to pass the query parameter route parameter that we will see with the help of next.js router in the coming videos other things are like dynamic component you can import javascript modules dynamically like dynamic routes loading which we were doing in react.js that is also possible with next next.js static imports all these things are there right so these are some of uh, the features which we have in next.js okay now we have already started writing the application you can see we have created a post.js which we can render here right so what it is doing it is actually evaluating this component and it is rendering the post component post is again a child component which is defined here and from the props we are getting the title which you are passing and we are creating the dynamic routes okay so what you need to do you need to create a post.js in the pages and you can actually capture the query parameter so that we will see in the re, uh, in the next uh, js router how it works how to pass the query parameter and all otherwise this is all simple in package.json we have npm run dev uh, it is starting our next.js server if you are not having any pages inside the pages folder then it will by default redirect you to the 404 page not found now we have created a lot of pages like contact posts post all these pages we have created in this particular application in next.js we are actually using styled jsx which is css in javascript right so uh, what styles jsx is doing if 
I talk about this style GSX. In this, we are creating. We are going to create style something like this in the component. Okay, style GSX. This is the paragraph. This is how we are actually going to style the paragraph tag. Also, you can also use the CSS modules and optimize for speed and all these plugins you can add. You have to install style GSX first for your project and then inside a single page component itself you can actually put a style tag and write your GSX. And this can also be a local styles and the global styles. Uh, style GSX because this is what you are writing in the GSX itself, right? So this is little different. And you can also add something on the global styling. So you just need to put style GSX and global. So this is very important aspect. So this is how we are using style GSX. If you wanted to add something to the global, then you can add a style GSX global. So background will be red globally, right? And so this is how we can use style GSX for our component. Okay, dynamic styles like uh, here we are passing some props and based on that you are we are setting up the colors and all right. So from props you are getting some properties and based on that you will actually set the styling for this component. So using style GSX we are able to have the single page component concept. Right, so you can actually create a multiple style tags, style GSX for button, style GSX for button. Class name toggling also you can do uh, based on the props whatever you are getting. You can also write inline styles. Okay. Okay, these all are actually the concepts of style GSX. Uh, we will talk more about the dynamic routing and all uh, from the next video. Thanks everyone.